Hey gang, Pyrebrick's back with another video review, and today is part three of our series for the Ninjamon, and this is the Dark Samurai team for the Ninjamon, and these are the Evil Six Bug Rangers. So, as you know, this is a line based off of Ninja mixed with Hurdy Kenja, a little bit of um, Cock Ranger, and samurai mixed with a whole bunch of other stuff and as you know these are the bug type of rangers from kaku ranger no not kaku ranger mm, Kanja. there we go ninja storm those kind of guys so we're gonna go over the other rangers really quickly um here's the old team right here as you see the original team with the dragon bear wolf tortoise and the tiger then we have the green Kieran Ranger right here, which is the Ronin, by the way. These are the ninjas. This is the Ronin, and the other guys are the samurai. So, really interesting stuff here going on. Now, let's get into these guys. We're all going to do it all in one take. I'm not going to do anything extra, but here it is. We got the Ninja Mon logo down there, and here is the Dark Samurais. Well, here are the Dark Samurais. Here's purple to start off with, and I got to say, gosh... Look at his detail. Just fantastic. He got two swords. All this nice, nice Shogun armor. We also have red looking like one of the Ninja Storm Red Rangers, which is pretty cool. But I always love those designs. So I kind of use that similar design nature and just implemented more teammates. So we got red, blue, and green this time. And I was also going for the Beetleborg colorways. If y'all ain't notice, if y'all ain't notice, red, blue, green. Then we got yellow, gray, and purple sort of violet just like the beetle board so yeah we got red as a male right here sort of maroon and then we got blue he's also a male then we also got yellow which is a female which is the hornet this is the uh, stag beetle we got a blue scarab beetle and then we also have a yellow hornet alongside of a green scarab beetle and then we also have the uh, Silver Dragonfly and the Violet Hercules Beetle or the uh, Kabuto Mushi Beetle. So yeah, here they are. Really cool. They go against the other six Rangers right here. That's sort of the deal here. So, you know, they need two Zords to beat these guys because they got six in one. So let's hop into it, shall we? Okay, so let's get back to the team and let's look at Red first. Red is a nice, sleek beetle we have this nice big base body of the entire megazord just this overall really nice tank we got this huge tank with these giant pincers in the front they are articulated we do get some color of black gray and uh some maroon in there with some yellow hints and gold at the top there is some um gold right there so yeah overall it's really really nice stuff going on here um really dope figure i love it you guys know uh, the vibes, Ninja Storm, there are also some extra uh, antennas up there. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put him down. Then we're gonna grab Blue, which is a lot smaller, but it is nice. You got these red eyes going on right here. You got this nice sleek beetle shell body with a little gun that's, at the, that's in the back, a little uh, articulated gun. You can do that stuff there. And then you also have the body which is articulated. It can move side to side up or down he can kind of get his little direction and i also articulated his uh antennae right there so that's a plus uh it's pretty much it for blue though you know nice navy blue colorway definitely uh giving me the ninja storm vibes for sure all righty then we also got green right here which is another one with the same type of gun uh they're a little dusty guys they have been sitting for a while uh, i dusted them yesterday but i'm not gonna do it again because i'm ready to uh whoa almost <laughs> knocked over my camera. I'm actually ready to tear these bad boys down and start with the new stuff. So yeah, um, this is second to the last of this, of this wave. There's a few more Zords, the dinosaurs after this, so stay tuned for that. So yeah, uh, we got a little square eyes on there. It's nice green. I never really used this green before, so to be able to use these um, darker tone colors for this Megazord is a real plus for me because I haven't done it before. And people know how many times I've made these bugs already. Like, I've made bug zords so many times. It's unbelievable. This is not the first time. This is probably the seventh or the sixth. Um, so here's our Hornet right here. Our Hornet looking totally awesome. 
you just got this nice design nature and the best part about the Zord is you don't know what everything is going to be so <laughs> no pun intended so we got this nice horn with these clear scissor like blade antennae we got these clear wings right here just really nice overall pretty cool design nature we got the gold blended in very well with the yellow and overall, I just really like it. Uh, pretty good stuff going on here. Uh, we can set that to the side. And it's early in the morning, too, guys. It's like 7 o'clock. So I decided to do this thing early. I've been slacking. So here is the Dragonfly. Another one very special. These swords are very special. Um, they're very different. You see the long body. Um, it's very nice what this becomes, everything. how What it all becomes because you don't really expect it. Just a nice design nature. Now for this guy here, I also forgot to mention there are some articulated uh, antennae and his little mouth can open, which is cool because the other guys don't have mouths. And he has legs too. The other guys have legs, but you can't really see them. But overall, it's pretty nice. So there's hers. And last but not least, we're gonna move these back because the big guy is huge. Um, okay. And here is purples or violets. His giant Kabuto Mushi Rhinoceros Beetle. Huge tank, Ninja Storm. You know what's going on. I made it black and purple. Just love the colorway of the dark tones. The dark undertones of black really, really separate this Zord from the other guys. Um, even though the main Zord has a lot of black in it and so does the uh, green Zord, but this overall, this whole posse of zords are uh, they're a lot better uh, you got the nice red eyes you got the articulated horn there and another cool thing he has is head articulation you can move it around and he can do some stuff and it's only because he can cut things down with that giant axe of a nose and he also has the scissor mechanic sort of like a chomp sing 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 scissor type deal so he can do that too that's his little cool beetle mechanism because you know i wanted to give him legs but i didn't i said he's gonna be a tank like uh uh the ninja storm thunder megazord he's gonna be like that so that's pretty much it for these guys let's get into the combo shall we okay so we're gonna start off with gray or silver so first we're gonna pull off this wing set here then this is a little tricky part but uh i can get it now this little piece here it's clipped on and I need to get it off of the clip, but sometimes it does this funky little thing of sticking on because the clip is so strong. Woo! You see what I'm saying? But I know that's something that's going to bother you guys, but it's really not that much of a bother. It's supposed to be an on and off situation, but the clip is very strong and it was just locking onto it. But anyway, look, check this out. All right, so once we take that off, we come to the bottom and we take this off right here, the leg set. And this is going to become a shield for the robot. Yes, this Zord has a lot of weapons too, by the way. Um, you get the shield right there, set that to the side. This can also become an arrow and it is also a fan blade type shield. With the, uh, you'll see in a second. And this is a katana, by the way. This is a katana. The end of the bug is a katana. So he's toting three weapons within that one bug. And this here is about to become something right now. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna fold this down. Then I'm gonna fold this around like that. Sort of like that. Sort of just get it just right. Because this is going to be a foot. Voila. Alrighty, let's do our hornet. Take this off, right? This also sits to the side. It is now a weapon. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna flip this peg up. Then I'm going to fold up the uh, toe like that. And uh, these will fold up once we combine it. But for now, we can just keep it like this. I mean, it's a foot. These two are feet. Okay, now let's get the main body formed up. Just playing. All right, so first we're gonna uh, lift up these shell compartments right here on the bottom. We're gonna lift these things up like that, okay? And then I'm going to grab a section out of here. This whole beetle section comes off. 
the pincers. And then, I, oh, uh oh. Put that right back on. Okay. Once I take off those pincers, yo, know, I can pull it apart. So let's raise them up a little bit. Okay, once I pull off the pincers, we can just pull it apart. And these are the legs, okay? These are the legs. Green and blue, now they require the same transformation, okay? So first, I am going to rotate this around. This is gonna open up. These are going to fall down. This is going to fold all the way down like that. And here is an arm. This is an arm with a thumb and fingers that work. Yeah, I know, right? This sword, save the best for last, man, okay? So next, we're gonna get this folded up. Pull it all the way over, rotate that. Do sort of the same thing with this side and it's gonna come out really good. You guys are gonna like it. So, bam, there is another arm, all sleek and ready. And I just love the design nature of the arms. You got the black armor right there. You see that, you see how I did that. You know, you got the black armor. But yeah, these are the arms. And last but not least is Violet. And this is probably the most clever amongst all of them. Uh, you're gonna really like this transformation. So first, we're gonna, uh, it's very reminiscent of the turtle. If you haven't seen the turtle one, um, for the big guy over there, for the original team, uh, go check that one out. And if you haven't seen his, go check that out too, guys. Run his up. This one has low views, and I need this one to go up. So please, guys, if you can, go and watch that green video. I need that one to get up a little more. Please, help me out. Okay. So, there's that. You take this off, and here is an axe for the Megazord. There are a lot of weapon choices. I'm going to show you. Um, this sword has the most weapons because they're equipped to destroy these rangers. Okay, so next, we're going to extend the beetle head so that we have this open gap. Then we're going to rotate it. Once I rotate the head, I'm going to fold it down, and the horn will collapse right in the middle of the entire robot. It should come right in the now. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, it's this thingy here, but usually that ain't there. So we can take that off just for today. Just for today, guys. We'll take it off, okay? Because it's supposed to fold in like this. Now, look, I'm going to uh, twist this around. Fold that down. Now, I'm going to open up the connector ports and this is the cool part okay you open up the shell i love this i love this mechanism of the uh shell technique the head in the shell we'll start doing this uh having the head within the body you open that up like that then we can close up the body and we'll, we'll save the final part for later but for now i'm gonna uh rotate this gold piece upwards like that okay sort of like that all right, now let's start connecting them. So we're gonna pull all of our zords in. We're gonna set the weapons to the side. I'm gonna pull all the rest of the pieces in and we're gonna start connecting this bad boy. So zoom out. We're gonna get purple and red. And a little quick uh, note, when I first built this, there were only four rangers initially to go against all of them, but I always felt like it was off. And because of that, that is why I decided to build two extras, okay? Because this is how the feet were designed, and he was designed to be a lot smaller looking than them. But I told myself, no, I can do way better than that, and I did. So I plug in that right there. There's another arm. You see how it's coming along? You see that? You plug that arm in, bam. We also want to get, oh, the antennas or the pincers. And we're going to plug that in just like the uh, Ninja Storm. Now, with yellow, we're going to come to the bottom of the foot. There is a peg and there are two holes. We can choose one of these holes here and just place the foot right in there. And you can fold up those now. Then that would be pretty uh, sound and snug. Also, fold that in for a little more... Um, closure with the feet and we're also gonna do the same thing with gray or silver whatever you want to call her 
plug that one in too, do the same thing. Bam, here's our Megazord. It is huge. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, bam. There we go, guys. He's ready now. He's ready. You see that big old thing? <laughs> it's huge. It's really nice. Um, I love this Megazord. It's really, 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 really cool. All right, and I almost forgot the main detail, dude. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. Give me a second. We're going to do this together. Okay. Here it goes. This is what makes it the Megazord. Yeah. So there you go, guys. It's all ready complete and merged alrighty so articulation for this bad boy what do we got well your traditional 360 arm rotation that we would always get from every single Megazord that I make okay we got that going on and of course we got a bend at the uh, elbow there is a ball joint and there is some um, additional movement here so, you know, we do have uh, a little more than just regular articulation. We also got individual finger movement, as you can see there. Each one of these are on a hinge. Oh, try to do it without knocking over the camera, bro. My bad. All right, so uh, we got individual finger movement right there, guys. Pretty nice stuff. We got a little bit of head movement. I guess he can move his head up and down like that. Okay, there's that. Now, if we zoom out a little bit, we, you can see that there is some leg articulation, but it ain't as much as him or especially him. He got the best, okay. uh, he got the best leg articulation. I'm gonna knock this camera over one day and I'm gonna freaking regret it. Okay, so we got some foot articulation right there. A little bit, not right there, uh, but it still does the same thing if I push it out just a little bit. Um, it overall works really, really well. It's a pretty cool Zord. I love it. Um, I'm not going to do it up close and uh, personal, maybe just a little bit. I'm going to uh, show you guys like this. A little up close and personal action. Usually I would uh, put the music and I'll turn off the edit, but I just want this video out there at this point. Um, it totally deserves to be reviewed at this point. It's just been sitting and sitting and he's been wondering why ha the heck have you not reviewed me yet? So I was like, all right, bro, let's go then. If you're really trying to get down, so that's what we did. We here now, we reviewed him. All right, so look, let's get into those weapons, shall we? Now, first off, we're gonna start off with the shield and you're probably wondering how the heck does that fit in his hand? Well, there's a little hole right here on the thumb. We're gonna plug it in that little hole and he's just gonna hold, oh, yeah, he's just gonna hold his uh, shield just like that, bam, bam, <laughs> bam, he holds it just like that. Can we raise it? I mean, we could kind of do something like that, but to be honest, I like to bring this down a little bit, okay? So next, I am going to plug this on here, okay? Now, this shield is a little different, y'all gonna be like, what the heck? But it's gonna be pretty cool once I get it all on there. The right way. I gotta remember how I did it. Oh wee, oh wee. How did I do that again? Forgot. Oh man, I forgot how I put that on there, guys. Um, this 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 fit perfectly. I mean, perfectly. It was just like that. Um, I forgot how I did it. Dang. Let me see if I could get it on there. I don't want to waste too much time and space, but uh, dang, man, it's supposed to fit on there. I forgot how I did it. Oh, I hate when that happens. Dude, if only you guys knew. This was so cool when it was sitting on there like that. But uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to give him his katana. Oh, actually, no, the katana goes in the other hand. This is for the axe. We'll give him the battle axe first. So, bam, here he is with the battle axe and his shield. Looking pretty cool. He's equipped to destroy these Power Rangers. So, we can also add to his battle axe. We can turn it into a staff by putting a sword on there. Bam. Now he has a giant staff, and he is really ready to go. It just looks awesome, man. Come on, don't get no better than that. Now, my light is twitching. It might shut off. So, give me a second. Okay, so I had to fix the twitching light. Um... I'm gonna try to really get this on because 
I want to use all the pieces like I did before, and I don't remember how I did it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Excuse me. Nah, man, that ain't right. I think it was like this. I think it was like this. Yeah, this is how it was. It didn't fit in the middle, but it did something like this, and then bam. This is what they were using to destroy those rangers. Bam. Here we go, guys. So, this is everything. Um, I'm going to put the katana in his hand. I didn't show you that. So, I might as well just do that last little piece. And then we can close off the review because I've been having a little fun with this. Uh, okay. That same little clip situation. There we go. All right. Put this in his hand. Oh, or drop it. You could be like me, bro. You just drop it. You can just drop it. You don't gotta even plug it in. All right, plug it in the hand. Bam. He got the katana and the axe in his hand, ready to go destroy these rangers. This is what they do. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, you guys be the judge. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think, and this is Power Bricks signing off. Peace.